Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. So today we are kicking off with the first video in the series of Jenkins Automation. So this course is not like a usual course. I have divided this course into two phases. Yes, you heard it right, two phases. So why did I do that? Because this course will help both the groups of people, one who have just dipped their toe into the pool of DevOps and the other ones who are already swimming. So let's talk about the roadmap. So if we can see, this is a roadmap for the phase one. So in the phase one, we will cover everything from the very basic so that you guys do not get lost anywhere and stay on track always. So in the roadmap, we're going to talk about for the first phase. So the first thing we'll talk about is introduction to Jenkins, its features, architecture, etc. And then we'll talk about SDLC. What is SDLC? SDLC is Software Development Lifecycle and we'll talk, talk more on DevOps culture. Moving on, we'll talk about the Jenkins, how to get started and how do you install stuff in your laptop or a desktop. Then we'll talk about the pipelines, pipelines which are the lifelines of any software development lifecycle. Then we'll talk about what is Artifactory, how do we use it, how do we install stuff. Then we'll talk about the SCM. SCM is source code management. You can use anything, but we'll talk about the GitHub. We'll give the overview as well. Then we'll talk about the CI and CD with Jenkins. We'll create a basic project using Maven, something related to Java or something. And then we'll talk about the bonus tips and tricks. So this would be the first thing, I mean the phase one. So until and unless you get matured in all these topics, my request would be not to move to the phase two because this is specially designed for those people who have just entered into the world of SRE or DevOps. So in order to master it, you have to go through all these topics, understand them well, and then you have to move to the phase two. So let's go to the second phase. So this second phase is specially designed for those people who are already well aware about the DevOps world, but want to expand their knowledge in this reality. So people who have gone through the phase one can easily understand these concepts. And that's the reason I'm saying that go through all the topics that are discussed in phase one, understand them, do a practical on it, and then move to phase two. Now what we'll discuss in phase two, we'll talk about the advanced concept of Jenkins. There would be some prerequisites. So in order to move forward in phase two, you have to have some prerequisites. So do not worry, I'll create a separate video for every prerequisite so that you do not get lost anywhere. Then we'll create an app. It could be an any app. If you want to create it with me, you could, well, but if you don't, you can just download the code. We'll talk about the IAC, the infrastructure as a code and the automation. We'll talk about Jenkins job DSL, domain specific language. We'll talk about Jenkins with Docker. How do you club it and how do you run, build and test everything on Docker? We'll talk about various integrations possible with the applications, just like Slack, which, we, which I talked about earlier, or Teams. Teams is a Microsoft product and it, it's kind of a similar app to Slack. And then we'll talk about the other Jenkins concept. I can dedicate a whole video to the question answer if there is any or other, otherwise I'll try to answer everything on the comment section. Just as my request is that you should not jump directly into the phase two unless you have covered everything in the phase one. So that's all about it guys. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.